Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft have been working on in build 21354. These new changes are available through the dev channel and while they are not tied to any specific release of Windows, most of them are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. Okay, so let's have a closer look at these new improvements available in this flight. As part of the Star Menu improvements, build 21354 no longer includes a Windows Tool folder. Instead, it is not an option. As you can see right here with a new icon that opens the new Windows Tools folders in Control Panel. In addition, the folder now combines all the options previously available on Windows Accessories, Windows Administrator Tools, Windows PowerShell, and the Windows system folders. As a result of this change, you will no longer find these folders in the start menu or across the operating system. Even more, since we no longer have the Windows system folder in the start menu, File Explorer now has its own place in the start menu, as you can see right here. As for improvements for apps, there is a new version of the Microsoft Paint app that doesn't include new features, but now it has a new icon using the modern design style that Microsoft have been pushing in these past builds for the new version of Windows 10. And it now Paint becomes an app that updates through the Microsoft Store, which means that Microsoft will be able to update this app more frequently without having to wait until new releases of Windows 10. In addition, there is a new version of, of the snipping tool and while it does not include new features, it now also becomes an app that will be updated through the Microsoft Store. The company also says that this app has been combined with the snipping and sketch app, so they're going to receive updates simultaneously. Also, since the Windows accessory has been removed from the start menu, as you saw, the snipping tool now also has its own place in the start menu. This flight also brings improvements to the news and interest widget that you will find in the taskbar. Unfortunately, in this release, my installation doesn't have it, so I have to show you a screenshot. And this is basically how it looks like. And what's new is this manage interest button that will open the web browser in the personalization settings where you can choose and adjust the settings to customize how your feed would look like on the desktop. Now let's jump into the changes that Microsoft is making to the settings app. Starting with build 21354, the display settings now includes the ability to disable content adaptive brightness control, which is a feature that improves battery performance by adjusting the contrast and brightness of the displays based on the content shown on the screen. Although it can help to boost battery performance, the feature can cause distracting brightness changes that also decreases the image quality when you need to show content with color accuracy. If you hardware is supported, you will find the option called automatically adjust contrast based on the display content to help improve battery. If you want to disable it, just clear the option. Build 21354 also introduces a new cameras page inside of the devices section of the settings app. The new page includes the settings to add, remove, and disable network cameras, and you can also enable or disable webcams. When you select a camera, you can also click the configure button that will take you to a different page where you can change different settings, including brightness, contrast, and the video rotation. And if you make changes, you can always click the restore defaults button to reset the settings to the defaults. Or there is even a troubleshoot button that will open the troubleshooter to fix problems with the camera. Although the ability to enable or disable cameras is new to the settings app, you have been able to complete this task for a long time using the device manager app as you can see right here. One thing I forgot to mention is that depending on the camera that you have, you also have different settings. According to Microsoft, you will be able to remove the backlight that causes shadows in your face when doing video chat, and you can even enable or disable video HDR and eye contact. 
Windows 10 build 21 354 also enables by default the automatic adjust active hours for this device based on activity option for the change active hours feature to allow the system to schedule automatic updates when you're not actively using the computer. But this option will only be the default if you never configure this option before. If not, it will stay as the way you configured it. And that's pretty much all that's new for the changes in the settings app. Finally, as part of the changes for the Windows subsystem for Linux, the default path to access the Linux files has been updated from WSL to WSL.localhost, as you can see right here, to improve reliability and performance. However, you will still be able to use just the WSL path as you were able in the past. And that's pretty much all that's new with build 21354. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.